Do you ever struggle with the net? You come up here and you're swinging away and then you go take a lesson, your coach just like stop swinging, but what does that really mean, stop swinging? Does it mean stop swinging this way? Does it mean stop swinging this way? Am I taking the racket back too far? There's just so much that can be so misunderstood. And in this video, we're gonna take care of all of that. We're gonna sit in a chair, hit a couple of volleys, and by the end of this video, you're gonna have a much better understanding of how you should be swinging and how not only swinging will be minimized, but you'll be making more balls in the process. So let's get started. So you're probably wondering, why do I have a chair out here and how does that help me with my volleys? Well, I'm gonna show you one second with a simple drill you can do with either a ball machine or someone feeding at the net for you. But this is the thing, we go out to the court so many times and I'm guilty of it too, swinging, and what I categorize as swinging is doing this action, trying to muscle over, or even sometimes too big here, and it gets us in trouble because we don't have enough time to basically get the ball back. And what I mean by time is this, when the balls hit very fast, we wanna make sure we create the right racket face at contact. And this is the tough thing about volleys. Earlier in my career, I struggled with volleys because I was constantly swinging. And what I mean by swinging is constantly changing the racket face at contact. And what that'll do is basically, when you make contact and you have the wrong racket face, that's where the ball's generally gonna go. And I didn't understand what coaches meant by not swinging. So my next response to that was like, don't swing at all. It's just like, sit there and sit there. And in some situations, that will work. But in a lot of situations, it doesn't. It feels very rigid and you're trying not to swing and you're like, how do the pros hit volleys so crisp and clean and they're, they're like moving their hands and stuff, but I don't have that. That's so annoying. Well, this is why understanding what they mean by swing is so important. So before we even start with the swing, we have to start with the ready position. And I put out a video, if you wanna watch it over here, that talks about what I think about the ready position, making sure that I'm holding it across my body. And some people are like, well, I like holding it here. You can go and hold it there anyway. This will still work regardless of it. But what I wanna focus on is as I'm holding it, making sure that either way, whether you're in front or in sideways, I'm gonna prefer or like to go across my body like this sideways, that there is a bend in my arm, okay? So I don't wanna hold it straight like this. Maybe you see a couple pros out there doing it, I don't know. But a lot of pros that when I watch them, they're very relaxed and they have their hand in a bent or their arm in a bent position. Meaning not all the way out here, I see a lot of recreational players doing this. But I see pros, when they're waiting, they're generally having a bend. And the why this is so important is because they're engaged a very crucial muscle to make sure you have solid volleys. And what is that muscle? It's the triceps, the muscle in the back of the arm here. So my triceps are gonna be in charge of doing this action, basically straightening my arm here. And this is a very important action for having a volley. Obviously you don't wanna hack down because if I hack down, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna probably take the ball down because my racket face is gonna be going down. But what we do wanna create is maybe some underspin and a solid contact. And so by using our tricep, like I'm gonna show you in a second, this is gonna really help you create that solid contact at contact. So what do I mean by this is the very first thing I want you to sit and do, or not sit just yet, we'll, we'll sit in a little bit, but is just do this action. It's almost like I'm pounding on something here. And this isn't your full motion you're gonna do, but it's just to get you working on this action here. From here, I want you to now find a chair or somewhere you can sit. You can do this at home. This, this is such a relaxing tennis drill, but we wanna make sure we have the same action. So notice how my chair is actually at an angle. And I'm gonna sit up for a second just to get you here, like how do you get there? Well, if I'm in a ready position here, my racket across and the ball comes, my very first move I wanna do is just adjust my shoulders. And for me holding my racket across, I'm gonna adjust my shoulders and pull my wrist back into an extended position. This is a very strong position, not all the way back here, but this is a much stronger position than a neutral position. What I mean by having it bent here versus straight. So I have these two moves going on, but basically it's a shoulder turn and extension if you're coming across. If you're still in front like this, you're gonna have a little bit of extension, but you're gonna still have the shoulder turn. And so this is how I get there. So if I'm facing this way when the ball's coming, all I'm gonna do is shoulder turn and get to this position. This is a great drill that you can do before you sit in the chair. And so what I mean by that is just making sure that I'm here, okay? And then I'm here. And this sets me up to now, bingo. You can see how I haven't taken the racket back. And so this covers the first area of swing where players are taking the racket back too far with their arm and trying to volley with their arms. And if you wanna know how to volley with your legs, which is 
where the volley is really at, where it gets fun, where you understand how to do that, make sure you check the description after this video to go watch how to do this. But this is so crucial. Now that we got our racket here, the thing I want you to think of is how do we swing? We just did this action, but this doesn't seem right if I'm gonna be chopping down on the ball. What I want you to do is take your elbow and sit it on your knee and then bend it forward and then lay the racket back just a little bit. And so you'll have this action here. And so what this changes the angle of my elbow a little bit. If I'm going like this, so the racket's gonna go straight down. But if I lay it back a little bit, look how now the racket's going forward. And all I'm really doing now from this angle, you can hopefully see it, is just extending my arm. And as I'm extending my arm, as I'm extending my arm, this fly is just crushing my orange racket. But as I'm extending my arm, what's happening is you can see how the racket face is very much the same. Very subtle difference compared to where a lot of people get in trouble is they're swinging like this. So if they hit the ball here, you got 4th of July in the US or fireworks. If you hit it here, you just bury the ball in the bottom of the net. Compared to here, it's a lot more consistent. And yes, I can still adjust my racket face where I have my racket open more. If I, let's say, had a very soft shot where I had to be soft in the hands, or I can have it a little bit more closed where I'm gonna drive the ball a little bit. And so what I want you to do here is have this position, not straight down because this is gonna go down here, is this is actually great with this blue line, is that I'm extending slightly forward in front of me. So you can see how I'm extending this way. And practice this. You can practice this at home, just sitting here and doing this action. Again, not straight down, forward, forward. And this swing is really come from just extending my tricep, extending my tricep. Once you have this down and it feels really comfortable, then we either get a friend or we get a ball machine to feed us a ball. And when the ball comes, it's really important now that all I'm gonna do is use my arm, which is in a slight bend, not a big bend, slight bend to adjust to where the ball's coming and then extending out, and then extending out. And this keeps the racket face where I want it. So in a second, the ball machine is gonna shoot me a couple balls. You're gonna see how I'm gonna have my elbow here, same position, and I'm gonna extend. So let the ball come out and all I'm gonna do is focus on extending the ball. Now my arm's moving forward a little bit, but as my arm moves forward, you can tell here that I'm not doing this. I'm not punching out. I'm not punching out here because now I'm just punching the ball flat. Since I'm having this action where I'm extending, I'm getting a little backspin on it. So it gives me control that I want. And this is important because regardless of how fast the ball comes, if I just time it, hence waiting for the ball to get there and push it out like that, you're gonna get a very solid volley. And you're probably like, okay, this is nice, Kevin, but no one's gonna feed me a ball where I get to sit in a chair all the time and hit. Well, from here, all we're gonna do is move the chair out of the way. And you can see how I'm practicing from that ready position, over, boom. So as I turn, I have elbows in this position, and we're going out. A little bit of miss hit there. Turn, out, okay? Turn, elbow, or sorry, uh, extension of the tricep. And so you see really how, boom, turn, nice and smooth. Turn, nice and smooth. And this is what you wanna practice when the ball's coming. Not over-exaggerating with any swing. Just simply turn, boom, and again, coming back to that first turn, it's gonna turn here. We have that little uh, extension with the wrist, and boom, and you see this with so many pros, where they're extending. I see Roger Federer all the time, he's extending. He has crisp, solid volleys, versus sometimes you're doing this. Sometimes there may be a, a situation where you mistime it or judge it, but if you want really crisp volleys, you're gonna wanna start extending or extending your tricep a little bit more versus your entire arm. Am I saying something's wrong with extending your arm? No, but you're gonna get more leverage allowing the racket face to move faster in a controlled environment. Just feel the difference between swinging like this and trying to get it to go fast and this. You can get it faster, tighter, more compact, so you're able to deal with balls that are at higher speeds compared to having it perfect like this. Again, nothing's wrong with the second one, but we wanna be as efficient as possible. And to be efficient on the volleys, we have to start thinking about how to use our legs. This is so important. If you get the swing down, and now you're just using your legs to provide power, this will take your game to another level. So the very first thing you need to understand about loading and using your legs is watching this video, because it'll take you through the steps of understanding how you use your legs for your forehand volley.